Hello, 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 and welcome back. This is Joey with the Jewel Design, and we are on to Thursday. Woohoo! All right, so I promise this is the last wintry gingerbread video for the month for some time now. Unless Christmas in July comes around and something piques my interest, um, this will be it. We're going to finish this up enough en enough with you guys today, and then I can move on to spring and botanical and whatever else is going on, right? So if you follow me on Tuesday, we started working on this, adding some oomph to the outside of the gingerbread flip uh, flip ephemera holder. And here is how it looks. You can see I'm trying to get over here all the glitter. I got puffy paint. I got pearls, rhinestones. We have the lace in the house, which is absolutely adorable. Um, we've got this the glitter glue with the iridescent glitter to help with the snow. I put some silver in the wishes of the fireplace and off the house. Our fun little... I really do love the front of this. In the end, compared to everything else, I did try to enhance what we did here or change up how we did some elements, um, some shadows in places, but I couldn't use up everything I had because then I would have it for nothing later. So I love that I ended up putting lace on the fireplace chimney because I didn't have an actual... Um, what's the word? A shingled... Um, roof to work with so I put it I had some scraps and so I put it on the chimney which still gives us the same effect and feel and then we go to the end you know this is last house and continued on again with the the tower and the the iridescence and all the fun little effects and this just I did not do the whole thing inside here because I was afraid it was going to rub on stuff so it's just outlined and I might decide to go back later and fill it in but I wanted to get enough done I even added a little bit of pearl and some glitter to my snowflake there just enough to enjoy it and be ready to go so the, the inside backs are very much my kits and my and my digitals and things I've bought and the fronts are just mixed media you know ways to enhance it and it really is oh I love this little town of gingerbread houses right aren't they adorable so today to finish it up we're gonna collage the inside and outside of the cover to the little notebook that's gonna go in the back which I realize is going to be quite hefty. I just realized, oh, I didn't think about that. Mm, well, it's definitely going to be stout. It's going to, if I want to stand this sucker upright, it's not going to fall over. So I went and took a bunch of pages. I pulled from my work box and I had a page of filler journal papers and I went ahead and cut them down or folded them up, folded them in, sewed them, folded them in or out. So I'm just her pages to write on, right? I did a lot of sewing on, on like two thirds of the pages just to give them something different to look at instead of the same old, same old. So I put a piece of paper here to remind me. I put a checklist here. So um, I'll do something with that come next year. Like little things, just just goofed around with it, had fun with it. Um, this one actually you know goes outward. It's a little bit of, of a washi on the inside, but not all the way through. Then there's your signature middle, right? That's that's one of my large cards from my uh, second snowy winter kit, right? And papers, and we just keep going. And then um, when this side, this one on the other side had a pocket, this one actually folds open, so I can like journal on each square. I can journal the whole page. I can do any random number of journaling on that pretty blue dyed um, tea dyed page. Or I should say probably it's probably a like a berry dyed or something like that. Like this one I'm and this one I got to play with the my sewing machine. I'm like I'm still learning like all the new stitches and the new like how loose or how tight. So I thought what's a better way to practice my with my with my new machine than playing on paper? Why not, right? So except for sewing the middle of this, I almost like tore the whole thing apart, but I was like, oh no, what a washi tape. No, so but this one just flips out as something fun instead of putting, you know, a digital on it like we always do. But these are great because I've got a pocket here and a pocket here, front and back. And, you know, it's just good to go. I, I did wash you the back where it's sewn because I was a little worried about how it was falling apart. I did really good. I sewed this whole thing only to get to the end where I had a little hiccup and realized that the top stitch uh, thread had pulled out the moment it started up. This machine is so fast that the string slipped my fingers and I went to go stitch and there was nothing. I just had holes and I was like, oh. and I got to the end and it caught. And so it sort of tore. So I had to go back through again. And as you can see, it almost looks like there's no, I don't know why there's no thread here. 
Um, but the bottom was a little temperamental, so I did washi it to sort of help keep things together, and it does help. So next year, if it looks like it's tearing, I'll do some more washi or find a new way to enhance it. But it did get the job done. Because I had some small pieces in here, I didn't want to try to catch everything in two spots. And you know, if I didn't catch it, then it'd be loose and it'd be weird. Like this one, I could barely get the two. I guess I probably could have done everything where it would have gotten maybe two stitches only. Or maybe, not. I don't know. I didn't want to think about it. So I just went and stitched it. But there you go. There's my little notebook. I have like nine pages. So it's like, what, 36 sides, pockets or papers to write in. Not bad for a December daily for quick little things. Almost every page can be written on. Probably would not write on this. I'd probably put a note, like a note on it. Because I'm afraid I've got to rip right through the avocado paper. But everything else I think can be written on. Even the back of my signature can be written on. So, all right. So we're going to make a cover for this. And to keep it thin, um, it is an envelope that has a flap on it so we're going to use it after we grommet it after we cover and grommet it so wrap something around it real quick and tuck it in and maybe it'll keep this from being so pudgy i whited out the addresses it is going to be upside down so it helps um so that way i don't have to worry about every little moment of it being like you know seen but we're going to use a bunch of blue scraps for the outside and we're going to use the paper scraps that are inside for the inside so sort of a reverse you know idea um, this will be a pocket when I'm done where I'll do a little hole punch and come next year. We'll see what comes up and, you know, it's going to work. Now, we are going to use um, really elastic um, string to tie this in. Just like I've done before in uh, many others, when you sew something, it's nice to sort of just slip something in and let it sit here with a, a like a, an elastic band instead of you know sewing like sewing it into the cover because i really didn't want to see anything on the outside of the cover since i'm doing all this work collaging it so we're going to get right to it we'll start on the inside to work out the bugs right and then we'll work to the outside so luckily i'm out here my my um my what do you want to call my glitter glue is not but that's okay we're going to do most of this with i think just the glue stick and then we'll go from there but the goal is just is to uh, lay it out rip it up, cover it up, just, you know, sort of level out the colors and go for it. See, not that simple, right? That almost works right where it was laid out. I'm like, hmm. Then I got a, what, a green right there. Yeah, okay. We're going to go for it. We're going to see where it flies. Let's see how it feels. <laughs> oh, so it's Thursday. And last time we talked, I was trying to get stuff done for the week. Um, this is Thursday for you guys. And we are just that much closer to the weekend where I am throwing uh, with my mom my dad's birthday party. I'm um, luckily here at the house, so she doesn't have to get the house perfectly clean on her end. It's pretty easy here on my end. The girls help me do a lot over the weekend to get the hefty part of it all done. And then um, we're just, you know, then I just have to go and touch it all up Friday morning. They'll do, a, you know, they'll do the immediate, like, guest bathroom touch up on Saturday morning and all that good stuff. So my mom will come over hopefully. Um, uh, what's the day on Friday afternoon and we'll do like the decor part of it once I know it's all cleaned up and we'll enjoy that and it's just it works but yeah we're just getting closer and closer I had to go do shopping for everything order stuff on Monday and then you know, grocery shopping on Wednesday for the stuff that we want to make sure was a little more you know fresh I'm sort of thinking we're just going to use this as a great way to do it even though I'm going to I'm going to hole punch that sucker but I don't want to cover after, so we're going to put it here, and then we'll go after afterwards, we'll do it up. All right, so let's see. What else? I know i got to cover this and this, but I think I'll put cream on the inside, and we'll do something more colorful, of course, on the outside. So let's do that. A lot of cutting and prepping and whatever, right? Make it look, work however I want. But it's a collage day. Really, that's all it is. That's what we're down to, is just collaging the last of this. Um getting a nice base cover done and then like come next year when I go to use it if I want to pull out some journal cards or whatever I've got going I can then decorate like put a cover plate to the front of it but being the fact it's going to that pocket that pocket is sort of our cover plate in its own right and I don't think it would fit like I wouldn't be able to fit a cover plate in there I really don't think I could put a, I don't think I could put a cover or not keep calling cover plate it's not a cover plate it can I don't think I could um, I'm going to go around the corner on this one. Sorry, guys, you can't see. Um, I don't... I keep calling it a cover plate. I don't know why. It is a page topper. Page topper! So frustrating. I got that... 
I think because I saw papers, I was papers I was working with over the over this uh, fall, and they were they were um, page plates, they were called, and they look like large like cabinet cards or whatever, and so I just oh I, and I couldn't for the life of me remember cover toppers or page toppers to save my life until I finally caught someone. I did catch one of them, either my mom or Gail talking about it one of them and I went oh duh okay that's it I still I got myself stuck on the whole cover plate but it's a page topper or cover topper I think it's because they're a page topper and then we use them for and you know, we're using them for covers so I'm gonna I am gonna do a little bit of TLC as we go along there we go. All right. So things don't look too flat as I remember, but most of this we're just going to cover up and then I'll do the outer edges when we're all done. So we're going to do that there, but I need to get stuff underneath there first. I didn't want it too whatever, so we're going to want to do a little bit of ripped. I don't know. This will... Mm -hmm. Almost covers, but then I could put another green dot over here. Let's see. I like the ripped on that end, but I need to catch it all the way up. That's the hard part is getting enough to catch into that corner because it rolls upward. I could maybe cut it straight over, but my luck knew. No. Well, I'm just collaging. I know it's not a lot going on today, but I did just want to finish the project with you guys and just be like, yep, we're done. I've done everything I can. I can say bye-bye to the blue, uh, blue Christmas, blue winter, blue whatever. It's not done with blue because 10 to 1, I will be pulling out my garden stroll and my um, Blue Victorian this spring and making something with that. I don't know if it's something that me and Lorette will re, um, revisit, but I know that there's a brand new um, French Blue something or other from Graphic Fairy. So I know there's the elements there I might want to use. I don't know if I'll make anything out of it or not. We'll see if it, if it actually um, inspires anything. We'll see. I mean, it's almost always vintage or Victorian, but I'm like, eh, let's see. I'm hoping, I'm really hoping for inspiration, guys. I am struggling. Someone brings up, you know, designing something and I cringe. I don't know why. I'm hoping with, a, with working on my, um, buy me a coffee members, working on a few little tidbits for you guys, for your freebies will get that juices flowing and the ball rolling um, so that I am not like forever cringing. It's hard. I couldn't figure out why um, some people stopped doing certain things after someone had passed away. I think it's whatever you're doing at the time. Like I said, I think it's the same feel of when you're sick and you get, you get sick and what happens? You, you know, you don't want to eat whatever you threw up. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but you know, that's what it is. You know what? You don't want to eat whatever you may have tossed up and um, for some time. And I think it's the same thing. If you were doing something a certain way at the time, it has an unforeseen reaction that it may, you just lose the mojo to want to go do that again. I think why, you know, some people have shifted gears. They shift, their, they shift gears in their job. They shift gears in their... Um, and their hobbies, they create, they come up with hobbies. Maybe it's time to have a hobby now because they're like, yeah, no, I'm done and I don't want to do this anymore. And what else can we do? And I need to, you know, I need a new outlet. And I really do think that's what happens. I really do because good Lord. So that's why I'm crafting more with the things I've designed. You know, I get that freedom finally to do so. I guess. But it's not helping the shop much until I sell the stuff. Until it gets up there and I can sell this. Not this one, of course, but until I sell what I'm, you know, crafting. It doesn't do me a whole lot of good in that end. So we're trying to find other ways to whew, hmm, find other ways to grab that kind of attention or to grab you know, whatever. So we're getting there. But I get it now. I was like, well, I don't understand why they would stop doing that, you know? And then I was like, oh, I get it now. I now get it. It's amazing what, you know, first-hand experience tells us. Because, oh, that makes more sense. 
Well, as kids, it's the same way, right? We don't believe our parents. We don't. Yeah, yeah, mom, whatever. How, you don't know better. How could you know? I don't know what are talking about? Oh, whatever, mom. You know, it's like, oh my gosh. Now, like, and then you become a parent and you're like, oh, okay. Totally get it now. Now I know why she said that or did that or oh, why I'm, I do or go to do something. You go, oh my gosh, mom did that. Okay, that makes sense now. <laughs> now that makes so much more sense. Well, this is the inside cover and I wasn't really thinking about that, but I'm not really too worried about it. Like, it's going to leave me, it's going to bring a little bit of green. I like the fact we had blues and greens and beiges and um, yellowy creams in this. Just to keep to that very interesting montage of colors that we've been working with. So the inside sort of matches the papers. The outside matches the the ephemera on the other side of the book. I'm just going to sort of dirty this up. Instead of worrying about covering every ounce of paper. Or every, you know, every little area. I don't mind some of this. And if the, if the front side happens to roll over... We're going to let that go, too. We're going to revel, revel in that, too. So, All right, so let's get my... Before I forget and do anything silly. I always forget these things, so... Ooh, too small. I'm like, no, I'm going to be able to make sure I can get in here with something worthwhile and not be like, well, I can't really get my finger in there, so why? And I hate that I'm doing that whole chunk, but... Mm, and that's going to be my new thing. I try not to get my head in this. Ugh. I don't know why. There we go. It's so nice. So I can just put what I was working on over to my side table. And I can, I don't know, go back to it later. So we have this thing going with the green. So maybe I'm just going to put that up there. Because once it's folded, no one's going to know one way or another. Is it going to stay on that? No, not really. There we go. Well, one part did one. Okay. One part did, one part didn't. I'm going too low too, huh? There we go. All right. Well, let's see. What is going on? What else are we up to? I know we got to be, I know everybody keeps mentioning that we've had some people are having like spring-like weather and I wouldn't call it spring-like weather. We are getting frost here in Cal parts of California. We are, um, or like hard frost, we're getting light frost, we're getting really cold weather. So my girls have both gone back to school, uh, you know, 35 degrees at 7, 30, 8 o'clock in the morning. Not on my top 10 list. Which, you know, yes, according back east, that is warm. But for California, that's cold. Um, especially in the morning when the kids are like then bundled up and then teachers are running, oh God, running heaters way too hot. So then they go back outside and they're freezing. Like, they're too hot, and then they're outside, and then they're back. Oh, my gosh, it's just terrible. I'm just frustrated. My daughter is actually dealing with a mild head cold, and I'm like, just stuffy nose, because I think that it's, she's, her poor head's getting, ooh, hmm. All right, then, let's work on that, which we needed to be a little extra there. Um, she just needs, like, more, let's see, what else do I want to do? Let's see if I want to... Trying to figure out how to rip and like get a nice ordeal going of something. Oh wait, let's see. I'm like, I have something here, sort of. Maybe I could do that. Um, poor thing is struggling with just a stuffy nose, like just and runny. And I, it started out, I think, with cleaning the house, and I felt bad. I'm like, well, if you guys help me clean the house more often, it wouldn't be so dusty or dirty or whatever, right? Like you need help, but if you don't, hmm, I wonder what happens. Mama can only do so much. Mama's only going to do so much. So, I got really crazy on that, but no, I'm not. There we go. We're gonna. I didn't really distress the pages before I put them down, which I know we normally don't do, but I thought we'd. We're gonna play a little bit with them. Just to see what happens. And then I have this blue, gorgeous blue. Thing, which now I'm wishing I had not put that up there. Hmm. I want to add it in somehow, but I'm not sure how I want to do it. Maybe just on this end, maybe. I'll just do it on this end. This is the front cover. Um, yeah, so I don't know. So she's, you know, struggling through and 
but we are cold like it's not like it, we're mid 50s like we we were supposed to possibly hit low 60s this week i don't really think we got where we thought we would get it and the day after my dad's party is supposed to rain again and then like on and off throughout the first week of february we are supposed to rain and i'm like okay well here we go again just hopefully not flooding we want rain not flooding we do want rain okay so a little hint of blue to tie it in those are the covers right so then we put the books and we put the book in here it is sort of beigey into that i don't know why not it's just something to look at and i may then find like a graphics and fussy cuts that i could then put on here once i know that this is done and this is not going to keep it closed oof well it's all right you can wrap around a little bit it doesn't have to be super flat and it's not going to be because even the blue stuff which i gotta find isn't going to keep it like tight to the seam um one second where did they go right oh here we go again well everything's nicely tucked in its place i just don't know which side it was tucked into i want to say it was in here but I... these are threads and things but it's on a spool like this but it is um in different colors i wonder if i put it in the i might have put it in god help me in no i remember having it out when i was working on a bunch of things i know well i'll do it later um i tend to what i did finally like i packed it away nicely somewhere because that's what i would do and oh maybe nope hmm. yeah i'll go looking for it it but it's yeah, it's an elastic band, like elastic string. I've used it before in the Harrow's. I just used it. Something else I just did, too. I did put it in because I wanted to make sure, like, you had it going. Okay, so we're working there. All right. But yeah, I'll, I'm just going to tie that in. I think one of my other Christmas things I did, I put the elastic. So I don't, I do want to go across this. But, okay, let's see. Now to tie it in, I could use that as my binding, um, or as my spine, when I have plenty of pieces, yeah. Um, now this is the front, so let's not, yes, front and right side up, yes, okay. Whole point was to put that on the back, I didn't want to mess that up. I do have a piece of doily that I might want to put on the front, once I clean it up, it's been through heck and back clean it up a little bit and make it that and then put this over it or put this down and then the doily we'll see so that last slightly worked piece i have this too i have these images i'm really tempted to cut them and use them like front and back sort of like a page topper or i'm just going to tuck it under like i might just decide that that ripped over that maybe a great opposite or rip it and put it over the wood on this side and then knowing there's gonna i'll leave maybe i'll leave the white on there because we know we're gonna cover it how white is this yeah it's, it's gonna go into the tree hmm. i may not use that i may get really frustrated have this perfectly lined out and then go nope you don't want to do that We'll, we'll design the front a little bit with some something to think about. But, I know, I feel like it's very much a hodgepodge collage of, collage of stuff. I'm using up the kit. That is for sure. I think I'm going to cut around the... Cut around the, this on the bottom because I want it to have some definition up against the... Um, whatever. But then we'll rip it a little more raw because it's going to follow the tree line. Cut the top off, didn't I? Pretty much. I'm going to be smart. This time I'm going to do a little bit of distressing on it. Just a little bit so it stands off. So we know this might be the sort of the last piece on top and we'll pair, we'll pair stuff up on, underneath. Okay, so we're getting going with something. I love this one. This is just some books and some... It's just a blanket right there. I love it. That's my cozy winter, cozy winter kit that I adore. And, um, 
I'm trying not to just cover it all with one. Like, I so just want to go, like, flop on the back because I'm being lazy. Or maybe go the top, middle, and collage more around the edge. Oh, well, maybe. Let's see. What if we... Weird. I know. Not my best. Well, let's go up the side on this one. Mm -mm. So much fun. All right. We are just working it. So hopefully you guys are having fun. Hopefully you guys are crafting along in your own little project, doing your own little thing in your studio, working away on whatever journals that you want to work on, that you're staying healthy. Like I said, that's good. That seems to be a, a you know, trial right now. Um, that you are, of course, enjoying your time. Now what I could do is I could do this underneath so that way in case where it bends and I don't have a clear or whatever, I don't have to worry about it. Oh, maybe we'll do it that way. I'm like, let's put something down just in case I don't quite cover every aspect. I have a little something blue over it and I'm not completely like, oh my gosh, I didn't cover that. Because I'm noticing we have a slight problem with the, oh God, don't cut it open. Um, we're having a little bit of an issue where the... Um, mug hits the rim and I mean not want to that have that go over it's gonna be really hard I'm gonna want to line that up right to the crease and nothing else so all right we're gonna do this and we're gonna collage over the edges so that it's underneath as a base and we can maybe cut him out a little bit on the back and let him overlap a little bit and the top portion can also go down this may be great I may have had a smaller piece but I threw everything back up where I found it this is going to be a good I think for the inner flap have it lap over it'll stick out definitely and I'm gonna put the white little grommet on it so yeah let's do that we'll just cut around it when we're done aye, aye, aye. yay 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 right it's a little collaging a little chatting but yeah we will um be on to new things next year next next year kind of already there next week we will be working on um more floral more botanical we will be working on probably those page pockets 10 to 1 at least one of them and um you know be able to get that started i have some ideas because those page pockets are really big now, some people love the standalone ephemera type of thing, and they give it away as gifts. Others are like, no, but it needs to go in a journal. So maybe why it didn't sell, why the first one sold, because it was definitely a smaller page. But the other pages were from much bigger books. And so I didn't think to fold them, do anything with them. Well, now I've got ideas. So now I've sewn them, I think there are ways to use and fold those... Sorry about that. And fold those pages in such a way that... Um, ice cream man's coming by on the why. Well, I guess we do. We have grandkids in the area in the in the cul-de-sac now. So, because we used to have a friend, a, a neighbor who had a you know a friend who was a ice cream person, and um, so she'd come by all the time and you know stop by and say hi. But she doesn't live here anymore, so I don't know. Anyway, um, so yeah, I have some ideas with the page pockets, um, to you know what to do with them. So I will probably not show you exactly how I'm tweaking the pages. But you'll watch me decorate them, and you probably can figure it out. You guys are very smart. They're very smart, brilliant ladies. But sometimes you just don't want to make it. You don't want to deal with it. You'd rather just buy it and move on. Move on to the next thing. So we'll see. You will tell me. You'll know. You'll, you'll, you will let me know. If not, they'll be made, and you will, I don't know. They'll go out one way or another. I just have all these pieces. I have so many pieces of ephemera that were so, and some odd, you know, I just hope the whole kit wasn't there, or they may have been sample pieces. They may have been, you know, I may have printed the, cop, the, the kit act twice. Like some, most pages were good, but we had a few bad pages. So I had to redo it or whatever. There's a lot of reasons why I had so many extra pieces. At first I didn't print all my kits either. I printed pieces of my kits to get the idea across. But I didn't print everything at first. Like, I did not. So I had a lot of odd and, odds and ends to my kits. So I was able to pull it apart into four different... Well, more than that. Yeah, I've always had four kits. I had four four full kits with papers and ephemera. 
and then that didn't sell so then I gave away uh, then I sold just the papers which those did sell but now I'm done with all the ephemera pieces and I'm like well all the fussy cuts and the ephemera so I was like well it's going they're gonna find a home it's just debating on what when what and where that home's gonna be so that is the goal for next week is me something to, to make that will actually go up for sale or back up for sale and get my juices flowing hopefully all right so what were we thinking i know what we're thinking on this side so let's get this out on it and i'll bring some of that so this is the front so i don't want that blue on this one because it's already going to be there on the flap so i don't really need it as a cluster i made cluster it in here back in here on the so it's on the back side we know where this is going at some point we're going to put this here once i feel that i can id the flap area oh well it's sit there oh, careful i'm debating on a little of this at an angle i'm going to put it down and trim it and then i can take bits and pieces and put it over here mm. where do i put this one like or do i do this one if I do that one, it still has a little bit up here, which, back to that, right? That looks, well, I get this, and so when I cover the flap, you're not going to see that part. But I sort of like the other one better. Oh my gosh, so I, I have this one too, but that's really harsh. And like, that might work better under ripped. Ooh, you sort of still, yeah, I have a gap that will not, will not work for me. I could do that, and we'll see where the snowman hits and work that over there, so... Okay, we're gonna make it work. We're not gonna hem and haw, I'm not gonna be here all day. Sort of wanna make sure you guys could see exactly how it sort of turned out minus photos, but if I have to, it'll be a photo it'll be a photo shoot and we'll finish it off that way. But yeah, last of the project, finish it up. And see how it turned out. My little pretty my little last minute winter project. Because yeah, if we don't get more rain all of a sudden, yeah, we're gonna have a hard time. It's gonna be tough if we don't get more rain. Could do that, or yeah, we'll see. I put it being down and go nope, never mind. Let's see if I can. I cut it, but I didn't cut it very straight, which is not to be not unexpected for me. Not that I can tell that if I perfectly folded this thing either. I have to go underneath and do it. Right, let's do this to be on the safe side. We'll put some glue down. And then we'll keep gluing it down as we go along. I make sure the edges are close enough that without staying, I don't really want, I want to make sure it goes over the edge, even if I have to trim it, or have to go over the edge, then come up short. All right. But yeah, it's not, I don't think I'm perfectly folded, let alone, yeah, not perfectly folded. Let alone the fact I'm not perfectly cut straight, probably either, so. I don't like that. Of course, this is where I'm getting nitpicky. Now, I could cover. That yeah, might be too much to then do that. After all of that work, why would I do Except to put it up here. Put the doily up off the top. Oh, actually, that would be either this way, and even though it's going to get folded over. Oh, I like that idea. Or across the top, maybe. We'll go across the top. Okay. Ta da! We're getting there. But I was trying to see if I needed to pull it up and move it over but now if I try it's probably going to come up completely so let's finish we're going to do a little distressing on the edges so that I can um, cover and hide anything I feel I need to hide the corner is being temperamental isn't it I know I keep moving it off the page I did better than I thought last week or on Tuesday I really thought um you know, a lot more hair would be in there. I mean, it still came came in and out, but quickly. So I guess it wasn't too bad. But we're going to just lightly touch the edges of this. We're going to just dirty up this snowflake just a little. Just a little bit. And I'm going to go off the page, which I'm going to have to trim it off. It is a disaster. And if I try to trim it straight and then line it up, probably won't work. So we're just going to... Do what we've been doing, glue it down, then trim it off. 
someone else I watched it. We do that a lot with our happy planners. We'll put the stickers down and then, you know, trim off the edges so that we cover the areas that we need, but not, um, you know, we cut it wrong and then we're like, oh, well, we really don't have the, you know, the sticker doesn't go where it needs to go to the end or, I don't know, there's a lot of oopses on that one, so there we go. And just touch that top so we don't have a harsh white line. And there we go, look at that. I wish I could see that more. I may have to put antique on that one just to get that to pop a little bit more. When it's already super blue gray, it's really hard to see with the darker colors, the um, ink. So this is where I will add a little bit of antique over it just to give that darker shadow. But oh, mix that in back. So, okay. So there we go. Definitely want to put the little knob in there and we wrap it with some kind of string or twine. That'll help. All right. There's a cute little front. Why not? Now let's work the back. There it is. I'm like, going to do my snowman. We're going to cut around him. Not perfectly. That's why I want a little bit of that wood through it. Like it's a, I don't know, it's a cookie cutter, but what does it make me think of? Well, yeah, we're talking about stickers a lot, so it's pretty common to have that big old white border. We're on a lot of stickers, especially the paper stickers. So, which gets really annoying because a lot of us like to get really crafty and we like to do a lot of layering. And we can't do that when you have paper border over, over everything. All right, so we need to cover that cute little... Mm, yes. So this is where I'm thinking, as much as I hate to go straight up and down, a little color there, but we're going to do blue all the way down. Maybe we'll use him to break up the line. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. So it tucks under there, but we need to, like... Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Mm -hmm. I was not going to get that in a direction that I wanted for that. Okay. I think if we rip a little off the top, I may be able to shove it up there a little higher and miss that spot. Perfect. Okay. We're getting there. So we're going to put a little bit on this side. And of course, all this on this side. I don't know what this is. See, like, yeah, what are we up to? I mean, I really do. Not hear a lot of thank you for sharing, but I haven't heard a whole lot of what you guys are up to. I mean, I follow a lot of you on Instagram, so I guess I do get to see a number of you who watch me over there. I get to see if you're doing something or go check out your 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 channels. Um, but not many comments about what they're up to. Just happy to see me and thank you for sharing. Okay. I'm like, I'm on a conversation. I want to talk. <laughs> All right, let's get the black off the top of this one. But you know what? I did. Mm, so I'm just going to make a mess out of it. So I might as well just keep it clean. I was going to, like, I was going to. Um, I wanted to ripple the bottom a little bit, like we've been doing, like down the inside. So we have that and we have that. And it's going to stop here. Again, we're going to glue it down, but we're going to, we are going to distress this one a little bit because I do want some dimension on this page. And I'm going to probably do a little bit around him too. I'm going to cut that off, but I'm so used to doing it automatically. Um, we're going to grab parts of that too, just in case it does show. So I did end up with a little bit right there. So something might have to ripple there. I know the green doesn't really go, but I might shove that in there going, something needs to go there. I know I said we do the tape in case, but it's bugging me. It's very obvious that there's not something there. So, mm. and it happens to tuck it up underneath. I don't know, do the fold and stuff. It's not um, doing such a great, I think it's just the, the harsh line of that blue paper. If the blue paper was was a was a rip, I wouldn't mind as much. But the fact that it's not a rip, it's like nope, it's too clean. Clean on the edges is one on the on the bottom. It's one thing up here where you're blending into things. Yeah, no. Clean lines are yeah, not so fun. All right, so let's just glue it up and hope. I have a big old stamp. I was trying to try to pull it off, but I was like, well, I don't think we need to pull it off. It's not going anywhere. I can't reuse it. 
her, her teacher from last year mailed out like when they dojo points you know and they would should mail out goodies to them and so it was one of those envelopes at the time I'm like oh let me I have to save that I have to save everything right so okay now we're gonna cut right here and hope I don't cut too far in because I do not want the beige but if it's there maybe it's gonna be a washi or a piece of lace that's gonna go there so the back you don't really want too much lace or anything like that and let's see I will probably have to go back on things and um, get the the um, what do you want to call it glare glue in there but this gets to close enough to the edge to do the job okay we're gonna distress that we're gonna distress that again go across this we're gonna dirty it up as I say so I love how one side is a scan from a piece of paper that I bought or, or found and the other is my design works nicely oh so nicely and so I'm just gonna do yeah we're just gonna dirty it up so it's not so white or so harsh look we even got a little bit of decor on the front and back of this book just in case like I don't want to do anything else with it it is sort of ready to go and I'm gonna go off the page again and so that I can have a nice clean cut across this one because he is um, off the page a little like I think when we printed him uh, he he rolls off the page um, a little bit on the print work. The printer just gives you that little white, um, oh, what's the word? Border. I really liked that blue, blue page. I don't remember if that was in the kit or if that was the one I designed. A combination of both. It's been so long. It's been oh so long since I made this kit. I think I know I did a snowy kit the first time then I did a second one but I mean we're going on to I think three is this my third holiday season I think so it's holiday, the holiday season of 2020 2021 and 2022 yeah third third holiday season so I've already done now so yeah there's there are lots so yeah because I did a snowy kit one snowy kit two on the second year and then I did cozy winter last year so yeah there you go Okay, so there's the back all ready to go. We have our flap. We have our pocket. So we'll put something in it. And I have the book. That when I have my bungee in it, my little bungee, whatever, it will. I'm wondering if I need to cut a little bit off. I'm like, oh my goodness. I feel like because of the way it was sewn, there's a little bit of. Now I can't cut all these pages because some of these have folds. But like this one's bugging me. It is definitely out of. It's far out and it hasn't, there's no, nothing really on it where I can like, oh, well, let's, I can't do anything with it. I do have a few pages. I can't just go trimming this whole thing down. Let's just cut this up a little bit. It feels like it's sticking out. But see, then this one, I can just tip it where it's not sewn, which is the nice part. I can see, I can see where I was, where I sewed it, but not so close that I take it off. It is the bummer part about sewing them is that, or yeah, sewing it all in one spot. You should lose a little bit of control over where um, the pages end up. Now this one's completely folded, so all I can do is try to fold it in a little bit more. And that'll help. I'm just, and that's folded, so I can't fold in sewn. Again, it's just folded in a little bit more, give it a little bit more of a messy ordeal Let's see if that helps a little bit that does that actually those little bits make a difference it doesn't have to be clean i do not have to have a clean journal whatsoever mm. okay so now we're gonna get that fold back in and i'm sort of gonna mm, both ways right we're gonna sort of we're creating a little bit of a seam to get it closed I'm definitely gonna have to grab my my glue and hope it holds but we're gonna pocket it or we're gonna grommet it and then we're about done ladies and gentlemen let's see how much how long did that take me to do my oh, 45 minutes well that's not bad I mean it's 45 minutes and done I have to say it's 45 minutes and done that is probably the best I've ever done but I can't cut this because then I have to seal it again I don't feel like cutting it if I cut it it's you know so I have my crocodile we are memory keeper and we're going to cut the hole punch, and then we're going to uh, grommet this sucker. 
in too far. I was having my daughter. She's like, I need a, I need a, she's like, I need to use a hole puncher. She's got this tiny little project. She's got to put string in it. She's like, I get enough string to do such and such. I said, well, yes, but you also need to, I go, um, you know, be able to figure out where you're putting it. So it was cute. We're trying to, you know, use this, not for the grommet part, but just for the hole. She's like, I need a hole puncher. I'm like, yeah, that hole puncher is way too big. Let's get the good stuff out. Let's get the good one out. And we're going to put that in there. And then we're going to... Luckily, this is set for these guys. I don't have to re... Um, wrong way, huh? I think so. Yeah. All right. I never remember which way to do this. Nope. Read it, dearie. One's this top. There we go. Top and bottom. There we go. Yeah, that'd be all I need to do is put it in the wrong direction. That would suck. Be like, well, that didn't work. Do like these. Yep. Let's make sure I get it enough. I always try to make sure I get an and turn it around. I get it um squishied enough so I don't feel like I'm gonna like catch my fingers on anything. So there you go. We even have a grommet. So I can put a string through it and keep it closed to get it back in that book. So there we go. We have a cover. We have a little notebook, about 36 pages of pockets and or papers to write on. We'll, I'll go reinforce that little seam right there, but it even has a little bit of a grommet. And I grommet a little bit of a, of a spine to keep it tight. Let's find the thing. Let's see if we can get it in here. And on my mess, I'll try to clear off my viewing pleasure here. I was going to use a little bit of this, but you know what? I didn't see a spot that I absolutely had to. And we're not going to worry about it. It's just going to get caught if I try. Mm, it's not going to fit. Oh, it is. It is. Okay. Oh, it fits! Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, now I want to hide that, though. <laughs> I'm like, I know it's in there, but I really don't want to see it right now. Because it won't be sticking out, I don't think. It's, it's going to get folded down in one way or another. So there we go. Let's just do that for now. But there you go. Look at that. It fits. Whew, it just fits. Thank God I made it the way I did, but... Whew, love it. But there we go. And, ev and everything nice. Nice little notebook. Nice, lovely decor. You've got this great gingerbread house that actually sits up nicely if I want. You know, put notes in it, have it sit on my my piano while I'm while I'm not writing in it. Have it set up nice and pretty on the countertop, and then I get to just pull it out and make notes, write little goodies, and then I have this full journal to write on. Now, we'll not be putting much in it because I don't think it's going to give. I think we're going to tear everything if I try. But if things get thin, or I'm not doing a lot of writing, I can always tear out the pages, too, and make them look, do something else to them, right? So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We are done with my gingerbread um, uh, flip-flop, gingerbread flip-flop ephemera holder and notebook. We are all done. We are good to go. I hope you enjoyed this month's worth of, uh, this month's series. It sort of seemed like it became a, became a monthly series, and um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you'll continue to watch. You'll like, subscribe, comment, um, all that fun stuff every day, every time I do one. Again, we're going to continue on with the Tuesday, Thursday journal with me's, craft with me's, craft and chats. And hopefully, you know, I keep saying it. I'm going to keep saying it because, you know, I've got to get my groove back. Um, hopefully soon there'll be Sunday or Monday digitals also. So I will give you guys a sneak peek of the Buy Me A Coffee digitals um, when I've got them created to see if that'll pique your interest, wet your... Wet, wet your whistle and see if you'll come join me over there for a monthly uh, membership. And we'll be able to just go from there. So thank you very much for joining me, tagging along, watching my uh, struggles through the month as I get that groove back. And we will see you all very soon. Have a great day and happy February if I don't hear from you till after Tuesday. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.